Don't forget to like and subscribe to Evolve MEP. Hello, this is Amber of Evolve MEP. Today we've been going through Clarence. This panel itself will allow you to utilize some of our tools to place clearance on your cable tray. So first and foremost, let's place some cable tray. With cable tray, we're able to utilize our system families to place in the quote unquote evolve cable tray. What's nice about Evolve content is I can still utilize my keyboard shortcuts to place in my cable tray. So I can do my CT. That will bring up my cable tray itself. And I'm able to easily come in here and draw in my cable tray. What's nice about the Evolve features is I am able to utilize a good amount of my other tools to help speed up the process with my cable tray. I can utilize my add or remove unions. To place in some of my ladder unions. I can also utilize my place hanger tool to place my hangers. Now when it comes to placing my clearance, We have our mode, we can utilize our between elements, entire path, or by selection. Between elements, you can select two parts of your cable tray, and then the clearance will be placed between those two points. Entire path will do the entire path, and by selection, it's based on whatever you've selected. You can modify the clearance themselves, so if you need to adjust to have additional clearance on let's say the the top or the bottom you can come in here and make modifications to the dimensions here we have our continuous clearance and our segmented clearance segmented clearance will break up the clearance at any break points so for my ladder unions or for any of my fittings it will not place place in real time you're able to make modifications to the cable tray and the clearance will modify or move with the modification. Pin clearance on placement. It will pin the clearance on the placement, so it will pin it when you're placing the, the clearance itself. You come in here and adjust your object style and material. At this point, I can hit OK here and select my elements. Now you can see it, we have that clearance placed. You can see that it did not place it on my fittings. What you could do in that scenario is you could utilize some of our tools for enhancing that so I can actually merge my clearances together. I could always split it at any point. So then if I needed to, let's say, add additional clearance in an area, I could. 
So let's increase this. So now we have some additional clearance in that one area. Keep in mind when you do add additional clearance, if I were to merge my clearance, it will take on your first selection. So I selected my first clearance here, and I selected my next clearance here, and it merged it together, taking on the first selection's dimensions. Again, the edit clearance will allow you to make modifications at any point. When it comes to even, let's say, the material itself. Or any of the other options when it comes to the continuous clearance or the segmented clearance. Another quick example of placing our clearance, I could do my entire path and I can do my continuous clearance instead of my segmented clearance. At this point, we can press OK. I'm going to select a starting point. And at that point, you can see my clearance has been fully placed. And with it being a continuous clearance, it is one piece of that clearance itself. You could always come here and make the modifications to it after the fact. So I could always come in here and switch it to semantic clearance after the fact to break it up if I would like, and then be able to make those modifications to it after the fact. So that is placing clearance on your cable tray within Evolve MEP. If you have any questions or want to see more, please visit our website and request a demo. Thank you.